Uh, no, I, I feel happy, you know, but uh, we, we get the, the result that we don't want it, you know, we want to, to, to win with all the fans and everything, but uh, okay, we need to keep working. We have uh, uh, next, next game, next week, and it's going to be, be a difficult game too, you know. Um, this is what what we need to keep working and and, and be sharp for the next games. Alex, tell us about the game. Uh, what did you see in it? Uh, how did you were able to look in the result? Yeah, I mean, just like Randall said, <clears throat> obviously it's a uh, it's great to come back once we we concede a goal. Uh, but you know, we all wanted three points, and and for us, I think we're a team that that expects three points. So when when we get a tie, especially at home. It feels like you know we're leaving points on the table. So, I think uh, while I think it's definitely a positive day because you know there's a bit, lot of pageantry and a lot of extra pressure, and I think it's our first time playing in the stadium. So yeah, it's home, but it's it's a it's a novelty for us as well. But <clears throat> for us, for sure, we want to move on from this and, and build from it, and hopefully start turning this kind of tie into into wins. Man, we have a yeah, Alex, um, you obviously had a couple chances in the first half. Dax, Honey, uh, Dan, Dan, and Andre like just. Making save that per se. How did, what was your reaction when you guys kept having chances and he just stood on his head? Yeah, I mean, so I think, you know, Dax obviously hits the post. I hit the crossbar. He makes an unbelievable save on, on the corner. It's one of those where <clears throat> it comes to me so fast, I just have to get good contact, and I do, and I think it's over, right? And maybe earlier in the game, it's wetter, it slides off him, but he makes an unbelievable save. There's not really much more I could do and, and just give him a lot of credit. I think for us, it's important to see that, that we are create, creating a lot. And uh, we'll convert those, you know. Sometimes it doesn't go your way, and, and that's how it felt today. But the most important thing is that, you know, we're creating chances. Uh, this is for both of you. I guess Alex, you can go first. But, you know, how did you guys experience this atmosphere the first time in the stadium with all the fans? Um, and, and where does it kind of, I guess, rank or, or how does it compare to, you know, other games from your career? Yeah, no, I mean, you know it's good when, when I'm trying to yell at Randall. He's 15 feet away and he can't hear me. So, or maybe he's pretending not to, but <laughs> no, but it's, you know, that's a good atmosphere. There's a lot of noise. Everyone gets behind it. And, you know, we're so grateful for all the fans that they, uh, that they're willing to come and support us like that. It just makes us want to fight even harder. Yeah. My team, uh, we talked before to, to went to the pitch, you know, about, uh, to enjoy because was, was good for, for the fans, you know, for everything, for the city. Then they, they made this stadium unbelievable. And uh, my team, you know, the guy who, who said and he don't feel anything about this game, he's lying, you know. All the players feel like, you know, a little bit nervous and everything. But I think, yeah, the game is, is finished. I think for the next game, we will be better, I think. And, and yeah, we just need to keep working. Obviously, the first goal for Nashville um, here at the stadium. Yeah, yeah, it was was not easy, you know, because uh, in the past uh, I lost two, I lose one penalty when we was in the national team in against Mexico in the World Cup, you know. I was I was like 20, 21 years old, so you know, and in, in this moment I just take it because you know the life give you uh, revenge always. And for me, today was was mine, and I just took the ball and just say to to God, uh, please heal me. And yeah, we score. But yeah, what what they say, you know, it's not about me, about the goal, you know, it's about about the team. And we wanted to win, but I think for the fans was was good for them. Uh, Alex, Gary mentioned, and it was pretty apparent too that after you guys had all those early chances, Philly kind of flipped the momentum on you a little bit. How did that happen, and then how did you guys maintain enough grip on the game to kind of get back towards the end? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's soccer, right? I think when uh, there's going to be momentum shifts all throughout the game, especially when you're playing against a good team. Um, they're a team that, that you know, they're, they're direct, and, and they know how to create chances quickly and kind of and be all over you. And so I think for us, it's normal to, to have the ebbs and flows of the game where, where we're going to be up and we're going to have our chances and hopefully we can convert them to put ourselves in a, a better position. We were unable to, and so they, they had their spells. 
they scored first, kind of a, a nothing play, you know, like a, a long ball over the top. And, <clears throat> you know, it was up to us from that point on then to decide, you know, we had 25 minutes left. We had to, to push it. And I think, you know, we're, we're good at that. We know how to do that. Graham, this stadium, the, the fans, they were really just waiting to erupt for a goal. You provided that moment for them. Can you just kind of speak to just the energy that, that you felt and the excitement when you provided that moment? Yeah, I just I just score and I just run, you know, to the to the fans, you know. It's, this is the moment when when you have a new stadium and you know I think all the players want to to make the goal, you know, to be the first one, you know, for the fans and see what happened after the goal, how is the reaction of the fans, and yeah, I think I just I just score, I run to them, and you know to to feel the atmosphere and everything. I think it's unbelievable. Um, más allá del de, de orgullo que sientes hoy por, por la anotación que ha que en la historia del estadio, yo creo que no hay ninguna persona que más sorprende que ese señor que está allá atrás, tu papá. Y eh, lo digo eso porque él decía eh, y te dijo que iban a anotar hoy. ¿verdad? Él lo dijo y, y en la transmisión que hicimos en vivo antes del partido, él dice, eh, yo le pregunté y él dice, anda mi hijo anota un gol hoy. Esa seguridad que él sentía, bueno the question was regarding uh, Randall's dad is in attendance today. Uh, he's sitting in the back and he actually um, said or predicted that he was going to score a goal today. So the question that Claudia posed me was in regards to what does he feel to not only score uh, based on the prediction that your dad had, but also uh, know that your name is going to be forever uh, in your community. Yeah. Uh, I think there is no person in my life that support me like my father, you know. Uh, he give everything uh, when I born to to now for me to to get my you know my future and and he believe in me, you know, a lot. So yesterday we was talking about you know to get a chance to to get a penalty because during the week uh Gary talked with me about the was my, the first option of the penalty was for me. So you know to to feel this security about my family, my you know to see that my 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 father, my mother, is there now with my son. You know I think this give me a lot of confidence to to don't think too much about to 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 get the ball and and just shoot. You know I think. Um, I I hope you know to that my father is proud of me uh, to also my my mother you know and yeah I love too much then. Alex, after the goal, I, I I think it was you that ran the ball back to, to midfield. At, yeah. at that moment, are you thinking <coughs> is that because of the pressure you guys have and you feel like that second goal could be coming, or is it more the moment of hey we want to win? this game? Yeah, I think it's like Randall said. You know, we we weren't satisfied with the tie, and we want to make sure that. That we can, you know, continue the game and try and get a goal. Just to, just to add on to the last thing, he, your dad raised an amazing kid. Like this, he's the best teammate. He's the hardest working guy. He's so good and he's so humble. So it's a pleasure to play with him. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Alex, I'm really interested in the in the sound. You, you hit the woodwork and then the crowd responded, and then you had that point blank moment. What what did that sound like on the field? Can you describe that? It's hard to say. I I don't think I think you tune out most of it. It's like you're so in the moment that you don't even really even hear it, right? It's more like it maybe is is just like it's like your heartbeat, you know? It's not something that you even are noticing because it's it's just part of the experience. Um I remember when we when we won the penalty, I remember that sound. I I was screaming with the crowd and I remember that feeling. Everyone was so, you know, it was a moment of just release and relief that we were going to have a big chance to score. Um but yeah, no, I, I don't really, I don't really remember those sounds. But I'm sure they were something. Uh, guys, um, after the game was over, you know, got the one point. Uh, Judah Nuhai went on, sang the song. What was that moment like, kind of 
after the game was over, arm in arm, singing the song with the fans in your permanent home. You know? Uh, especially, you know, I think the North fans deserve everything, you know, when we play, they, they expect and we give uh, the 100% and more. And, you know, I think we tie and they still was happy, you know, and this is good for, for us. I think uh, as a group, we, we feel a lot uh, when they do that and uh, I'm sure then the next games uh, we will we will keep working and we will give more than 100% to 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 make them proud. Yeah, I think I think you know I don't think we'll do that too often uh, when there's a tie, but I think we wanted to commem commemorate this moment. You know, there's some things that are bigger than the result, right? It was the love and the support and just the the overall genuine feeling of of care that that we have for them, and so we wanted to to show that you know arm in arm. I think if we lost, we would have done it because it was just to say thank you to them and and to kind of wrap up this this wild moment that. Uh, you know, I've never experienced it before, and I, I don't think too many people have. So I think uh, it will, probably won't happen when we tie in the future, but today it was, it was fitting.